adventures. You could be on your way to becoming a fully certified scuba diver. Join us for an adventure of a lifetime by calling Captain Dave now at 408-DIVE. From their home port at picturesque Simon's Town, the crew departs pre-dawn, knowing that the sharks begin hunting with the coming of the sun. Seeking out the seals that begin to leave the island in wave after wave of small groups. A seal-shaped target made from carpet is prepped by researchers Rob Lawrence and Allison Cock. We're just strengthening it with cable ties so that when the shark does hit it, it has a little more strength. When towed behind the boat, seal targets are attacked with as much gusto as the real thing, but ultimately spat out when the shark realizes it has been fooled. We've been watching a documentary in 1993 where they had used a surfboard and towed a surfboard along and got a response to that. Uh, and with that in mind, we came out here and those days used a pretty crude life jacket. You can see it's still got the original puncture marks. And on that first day, we got three breaches, which obviously was quite significant that there were a lot of white sharks in the area, and they breached here more, than, more so than anywhere else. And over the years, we just refined our technique, and now we get a, so up to five or six breaches a day. A target is deployed a mere 40 feet from the boat, and can be towed at the speed of four knots through the most attack-prone area of the Ring of Death. 